basically he was saying that some of uh, what was said in the past, he was appealing tama huba to be them to be stricken off the record because he was not represented by a lawyer. Is that correct, sir? Yes, uh, he was requesting uh, that uh, some of his statements during the November 30 hearing be stricken off the record. Because during the November 30 hearing, when I asked him, uh, he admitted na nagkamali yung source niya because he accused the speaker of spending 1.8 billion pesos in the traveling expenses but upon the testimony of Secretary General Reggio Velasco and Bobby Maling, the finance department head, it was found out that uh, Speaker uh, Martin Romualdez only spent 4.3 million pesos for 2023 traveling expenses and the whole of Congress 35 million pesos. So I even asked him uh, if he's willing to recount his testimony and apologize to uh, Congress. And he said he was willing to do that, but uh, after a few hours, he went on air in attack na naman ng Congreso. Um, the point is, inamin na niya yun uh, during the last hearing. Now, he wants it to be stricken off the record. I asked him if he was willing to uh, recount his testimony. Sabi niya, oo. Oh, oh. So, yun ang, I believe, uh -huh. since he did not have a counsel at that time, he was not allowed to have a counsel at that time because when we asked Attorney Tolentino and uh, we, we asked uh, Attorney <coughs> Suplico whether they are representing uh, K uh, Mr. Celis, they said they are representing only SMNI. So kahapon, um, he requested that he will be uh, if, uh, allowed to hire on this spot uh, Attorney Suplico and Attorney Tolentino to be his legal counsel. So yesterday, mm -hmm. he was uh, allowed uh, to have a legal counsel in the person of Suplico and uh, Tolentino. Tolentino. Okay. But, but sir, is there any merit to what he wanted to be stricken off the record because he was not legally represented? Is there any merit to that? No, uh, he cannot do that because it is only the members of that committee who can move for the deletion of uh, some uh, uh, pertinent uh, statements mm. in the proceedings. He is not a member of the committee. He is not even a member of the House of Representatives. Mm. So how can he move for uh, uh, taking out uh, uh -huh. several... Uh, uh, statements okay. in the uh, so, proceedings. Wala, so, pwede, wala pong karapatan? Allowed. Wala pong karapatan ng mga resource persons, ganun ho ba, to appeal, to delete certain statements made because they were not represented by a council. There's no such thing. Yes. What, what he can do is approach a congressman or request a congressman or a member of that committee uh, for him to move for the deletion of I some uh, portions of the minutes. But uh, kung siya lang, he cannot do that. Apo. Hindi, hindi fact, pwede. Kailangan, uh, kailangan in parang... In the course of uh, the hearing yesterday, Attorney Tolentino uh, questioned the quorum of uh, the members present. And I told him outright that you have, not, uh, you have no right to question the quorum of this committee because you are not a member of this committee. You are not even a member of the House of Representatives. Okay. It is only the members of that committee... Yeah. Who can question the quorum on how long we should detain Mr. Celis? Uh, Congressman Ako proposed for a 30-day uh, detention. But then uh, we had a recess or the hearing was suspended to make sure that we found out that there is a jurisprudence mm. from the Senate. This is Balag versus Senate that the contempt will take effect until the approval of or the adoption of the committee report in the plenary. So he will be uh, in the premises of Congress until such time that we have the approval of the committee report in the plenary level. Now, however, they can make an appeal for a law for them to spend Christmas holidays with their family. Okay. But that has to be approved by the committee. 
and they have to execute an appeal. If there is no appeal, then we cannot act on it. Okay. If a resource person uh, does not want to answer a question relevant to inquiry, it's a ground for him to be cited for contempt. And Section E, which is acting in a disrespectful mm. manner or misbehaving during the committee hearing. Sir, do you support this resolution filed by PBA Party List Representative Migs Nugrales calling on the NTC to suspend the franchise of, of SMNI? Yes, uh, we voted on that uh, yesterday. Uh, there was no objection. Uh, actually, did we not put it to a vote? It was uh, moved by uh, Secretary uh, Congresswoman Mix Dombrales and the chairman um, asked if there was any objection. There was none. So it was a non unanimous vote. Uh, the resolution has been adopted urging NTC to suspend the operations of SMI. And because. To, uh, uh, we will be voting on the committee report. Uh, it's now being prepared with the committee secretariat, mm. and it will be brought up to the plenary. Will this happen before you go on vacation, sir? Well, it depends. If the committee report will be uh, completed before uh, we go on recess, and uh, if the committee rules, mm. because we have a process. Yeah. It doesn't go directly to plenary. It will have to go to the committee rules. Right then this will have to be deliberated in the committee rules and then after the approval from the committee rules then it will be submitted to the plenary right. for